my name is Tomasz Nadolny and first of all I am a citizen of Gdańsk and in second my role is working for City Hall. Uh, I don't know if I will manage it properly but we will try to. Uh, <coughs> as uh, Christopher mentioned uh, this is the place which right now is famous because of history and if uh, I've heard that a lot of people here in Chicago have a roots in Poland, uh, I don't know if some of you, uh, but to show you, okay, to show you that's our, uh, that's our city. And it looks like this, it's in Europe, of course, Baltic Sea. Uh, and uh, this, this is one of the biggest Polish cities, which, which dreams with uh, some opportunities. But I would like to, uh, to share the knowledge about our open data policy. Uh, Social landscape of our city is changing like every city in, in uh, all over the world, in Europe. Uh, and three years ago, my boss took me from uh, entrepreneurship, I was <coughs> in business, uh, to, uh, to deal with such things like millennials and their hopes and their problems. Uh, the trust to the government, engagement, participation, which probably are the same uh, problems like here in America. Uh, and uh, I started to work with him. Uh, I took this job, even if it was less profitable than, <laughs> than before. Uh, but I wanted to, to have a chance to change my city. And, it, and, it's, and it's going. Uh, the first idea that I started to work on was the opening uh, city data and open policy. It started two and a half years ago. Uh, and of course, our data sets should be open, so reuse, complete, machine readable. But uh, I strongly believe, still strongly believe, that opening data can build better trust between government and citizens and of course it can be reused by a business by scientists and civic hackers and they use it in Gdańsk really really fast and really uh, on a huge range uh, what impressed me here in America is that when you start some project you always find first resources it didn't work in our city like this. Uh, I got two very good messages in the beginning of this program. First was a great support of Meyer, and the second, the bad uh, news was that the budget is really run zero. Uh, and <coughs> uh, but there were two possibilities, or give up the project or to start it without money. I'm not the kind of man that, give, uh, that can give up, so we started. And this uh, on the international standard CKAN, as uh, I don't know if you know it, probably yes. But uh, this was a gift from company who made it uh, for us uh, for free. Uh, and a lot of uh, accidents, accidents uh, help us to, to make it. Uh, and right now you can, uh, you can find uh, data. Uh, we paid for the uh, front end of this open data portal, but it cost us about $2,000. So uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't a great uh, big money. Uh, and uh, of course you can, uh, you can see in English too what are the, uh, wh wh how our open data program looks like. Uh, key open data sets that are used daily and are really important, you can, you can have a list. Uh, so this public transit and city expenditure list, these are the most important, the most popular, I think. Uh, 
I can see a lot of wonderful data sets here in uh, American cities, uh, but uh, the, the news that I want to, the, the story that I want to took uh, to Gdańsk from, from uh, Chicago, Philadelphia, New York, to, uh, is that we need to build some DevOps group and we need to, uh, to find some finance for a fellowship or some kind of way to, to develop it. Uh, and I think th this could be interesting because I didn't find something like this in here in America. This is all the city money spent, they are updated daily. Every midnight it's updated, you can check it on our website. And it's really popular because people always want to know how the government spent the money and how much we paid uh, work for, to the workers. Uh, that there's, these are the most popular data and I can see in our analytic system that there are some people who are spending lots of hours <laughs> looking for some data. But <coughs> we have nothing to hide so it's just plain shown uh, and you can, you can follow it. Uh, this is uh, really important that this is the list of all the public information uh, inquiry uh, asking and uh, what was the date what's the department uh, is responsible for the answer and this is the answer you can you can see it and sometimes it is written why it couldn't be uh, made because for example some low uh, problems or some like this, but it, it it was the first one in Poland, and right now uh, uh, our government tried to to make it as a model for all the cities and all the departments of the government in Poland, and we are really proud that uh, that, uh, that people use it, and it's really s smartly done. Uh, the city spendings and city budget is really uh, is really interesting thing and we noticed that even publishing our city budget uh, lots of people completely don't understand what's going on with with it and we try a few years ago with the city price list you can see it uh, on our website but this is examples for example how much monthly we pay in polish zloty for one dog in shelter, or how much uh, our zoo garden pays for, uh, uh, for in monthly for our elephant, uh, and of course these are some uh, these pictures uh, took a lot of attention and and some very important things like how much it costs to to buy one bench or how much it costs one kilometer of our tram. It was very important for us to give this message because a lot of citizens completely don't understand how much we spend on these uh, things. And if somebody find idea how to make these prices smaller, we are waiting. <laughs> <coughs> and, and this is uh, our new application which started five months ago. Uh, this you, you can uh, you can see in this link. It's really interactive, and you can see every uh, everything which are connected with spending, with budget, and with taxes. Uh, and in the way that we show it, it's uh, I think it's really good because uh, in the first month there are twenty five thousand people using this app, so uh, we were proud uh, of it and. Uh, Of course, we know that publishing data, data sets, it's not the success. The success is when it's used. So we try to encourage city hackers, all of the uh, citizens to use this data. Uh, of course, we organize some contests, but of course we don't have money. So we organize it with the different cities and with the orange company. Our Maya uh, founded the prize one of the prices, but, uh, but it's, um, it gives us about 200 very good ideas and this year it will be third time 
that this be happy contest will be uh, will take place in Gdańsk. Uh, I will show you the uh, really interesting app which was built with uh, Code for Poland, so with kind of guys like you. Uh, this is the app band of Gdansk. You can see it. You can suggest where we should plant a tree. It's really important because uh, we, we are always in some conflict with uh, citizens when we need to cut some, some tree. And this is the app which shows what is going on with the cutting the tree. That's some developer who wants to build something and needs to cut the tree, he needs to put another tree in different place which we need to show him. And our department of environment always said that there is no such places here in city. We want to get some money not planting the tree. And citizens, residents find, found about 300 of places and 70 of trees was planted last year. And this year in the autumn, we plan to uh, plant about 250 trees. Our city is not so big like Chicago, so 250, it's, it's something, okay? Uh, this is the app which was built with uh, cooperation with uh, some people from outside city government which help us to save, uh, uh, to, to make a safe way of using uh, our garbage. Uh, that's when you, for example, if you are looking where to put safely uh, some, I don't know, uh, some batteries or some medi uh, medicals, you can find it on the map and, and lots of people uh, use it, but we don't have money, for example, right now for making it for Android and uh, and iPhone, but maybe maybe ne ne next year uh, I will show you something like this. Uh, of course, the, for me it was really important to introduce uh, in our policy that uh, every money that are spent on developing or on any app or any software uh, should be spent on uh, software which is open. And that's why all the, all the apps which are built in our open uh, data program, they are on GitHub and you can use them. Uh, I, I heard that some of you working in big companies, uh, this app, for example, is really popular. Uh, of course, all the apps about public transport are popular and used. Uh, and it, it shows all the trains, buses, which are uh, when they are going, but in real time. So <clears throat> uh, it is important because you know that difference are big, uh, real and timetable time. Uh, it was built by worker of Intel company, uh, which has very big office in Gdańsk. And uh, it was really successful and he got three or four prices all over Poland. So I think that he got some money in the prices. Uh, <coughs> the, the one message that I want to give you from Gdańsk is uh, that if you want to do something and you feel that it's really important, you can do it without money or with money uh, because innovation are made by people, not by money. So uh, after two and a half year, I would like to build some team to develop uh, things in our uh, city government. I would like to have, uh, we have some researchers in city hall, so we have some help of different departments. But uh, innovation is something which is going in our minds, not, it is not made uh, by money. And that's all. If you have any question, I can answer right now or by email or by Twitter. Uh, I'm really hard user of social media, so, uh, so you can ask always. Thank you. If you want to stay up, you can, if, if you want to stay up, if folks have uh, any questions, okay, maybe you okay, maybe give us okay. uh, 10 minutes of question and answer. Okay. Um, did any other cities in Poland or elsewhere take your code and make similar sites? Uh, we were the first. 
So we were the first with open data policy. Uh, right now there are five cities, only bigger cities, uh, more than 500,000 of citizens uh, made this policy. And uh, some apps, for example, this for planting the tree, it, it is right now used by four cities, uh, I think, but you need to introduce it in uh, different departments, so it lasts about half a year, I think, in City Hall to, to rebuild something like this. Yes? Yeah, so of, of all the kind of political topics in Gdansk, what is the one that the mayor is most freaked out by and kind of scared of, and have you tried to touch that one? Mm. I don't exactly uh, know if I understand you properly, but, uh, but you know, in our history, there were two very important things. First, the World War II begins in this place, and after the war, completely all the citizens of the city were rechanged from Germans, because there were 90% of Germans living there. Right now, they are 90% of Polish people. Uh, so, this was kind of catastrophe, which uh, we remember. And the second was uh, starting the solidarity movement. And one of the things that these workers from shipyard are fighting, were fighting for was public information. And right now we feel that opening data and opening policy is something like doing the, the will of, of Lech Wałęsa movement. And that's why we started as a first city and we wanted to make it, yes, political move. That we, we believe that the hope of democracy is in building trust. I don't know if it's the, okay. Yes? Just, um, one of the challenges that we have here is, is just access to internet. So as a city, what percentage would you say have access to? Mm about 80 percent so it's it's really high i think uh, and it's much cheaper than here <laughs> <laughs> i spent a lot on the internet so, <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get things done without money like how did you get teams together working on things uh, right now i have one helper only uh, but we have a team which from different departments who co-working on opening uh, policy, but after it was a great buzz about opening, about especially about opening the spendings that give us a lot of coverage in media, uh, there, there, there were a lot of private enterprises, foundation like Bloomberg, for example. Bloomberg uh, invite us to, invited us to this What Work City program, which probably was first, yes, it was first city in Europe because it was a program made for American cities. And they heard about wor our work and they invite us to such projects. So that's why we got help. So people volunteered their time to do that publicity? Yeah, they believe. Uh, they believe. And we always uh, do uh, this work to, that everything is on. Uh, we always uh, wanted to thank them, of course, but I believe that some of them will find a work in, in this subject because it's really growing business in Poland. And maybe next year will be some kind of fellowship. Maybe I will send you an email. Maybe somebody wants to go to Poland for half a year to work with us or something like this. We are really good guys. <laughs> okay? Yes? Uh, Follow-on question to that. So you mentioned in the beginning you had no money, and now you've proven the success without that. Have you then used that to kind of turn around and ask for money now and say, we can do this for free if we had money to hire people, we could do more? Is that I am in pro I am in progress with it. <laughs> uh, of, of, we, uh, I believe that we need to build a team which is, which is uh, involved only in data, uh, cooperating with startup system, with CV uh, hackers and so on. I, every week I am on meeting like this in Gdańsk. Uh, they, it's about 25 or 30 attendants, so it's smaller. But we are growing and uh, they believe that I work for them and they work for us. So 
it's the city is our own so everything what you what you do for the city is for you to Yes, yes. Uh, how did you decide to focus on the topics of tree planting and recycling centers for your first web application? And what are we you saw that it was a really problem that a lot of our residents wanted to talk and wanted to do something. There were a lot of fights in media and in social media with some cutting the tree. I think that you have the same problem that that w when there is some investments, they are uh, trashing the trees and uh, we had the same and we wanted to find some solutions to, to and that's what we invented. But every, every uh, data that we publish, every app that we build, we always listen, uh, we always listen to the citizens. You know, we have small resources. So when we see that Lots of them want something, want to know, or somebody promised us to build very good app, but he needs some data. We, we are focused on it. Yes? So did your team build that, that um, no. plant a tree application? No, no, no. The app was built by developers like you. Okay. Um, yes? So what hope do you have for the upcoming year? Yeah, I am... Uh, during some kind of stipendium. Uh, it was funded by Omidia Foundation and uh, Code for America. And I, uh, I go to four cities. Uh, this is the third one. And I meet with the people working with open data policy, building this. Uh, I just uh, took a knowledge from you uh, to introduce it in Poland. Uh, uh, because we were first, so I am uh, invited to a lot of conferences and uh, a lot of cities ask us what's the, what's the deal with it. And uh, maybe this will be a good occasion to, to show them some examples from here. Uh, you are doing very good and great work here in Chicago, I can feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What differences have you seen between the cities you visited? Like, what's something that works and what Chicago doesn't? What it does not work and what works more? I think that there are some, for example, these are uh, differences in organizing the city, for example, C police department and fire department, it's not owned by city in our uh, country, it's government. Uh, so w we have no influence. We, we can only ask for the data and we don't get. <laughs> okay. uh, but, 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 you know, Everything here in America is huge. <laughs> it's, uh, the scale is really huge, but it's the same. People are the same. Maybe uh, people are the same, they have the same problems. They want to be happy and they want to go to work and to spend time with friends. They want to use library and to plant some tree. <laughs> uh, so. So people are the same all over the world, but, but uh, and the problems are really similar. You have much, much more resources, I think. But that's the difference. Okay? Okay. I think Excellent. that, thank, thank you, you thank you very much.